guys uh welcome to my channel okay so i'm going to explain you how to make uh the such graphs uh, they're actually known as racing graphs so you can easily make it on a website name as flourish.studio so <laughs> actually just spell it wrong and okay so the name of the website is flourish.studio and you can easily use it to make different kind of visualizations and I'm just, I'm just going to go through some of them and I'm just going to show you how they are, what they look like. There are different kind of categories from area chart to area chart stack or column chart, donor chart. Or if you also want to make a projection map, you can use it. And for other than that, you can use for scatter maps or you can use bar charts or some shanky diagrams or something else, column chart, whatever you want. So in this video, I'm just going to focus on the bar chart and I'm going to show you how does it works. So I'm actually using a template and later on I'm going to make it with my own data set for the COVID-19 patients all over the world. So as you can see that you can change the chart style from horizontal to vertical and you can also sort them based on their values like if from highest to lowest or from lowest to highest and it can depend on entirely on the data. Also you can also increase and decrease the spacing between the bars as you can see like before percent now i've made 20 so there you can see that they have more space now also you can increase the number of uh, the bars that you want to show like you want to show 20 bars you want to show five bars or you just want to specify a certain value so it all depends on you or how do you want to see so if you specify it like i only want to show this much height of the graph or this much height then it will only show only the specific number of countries coming in that specific area so you can change uh, i prefer using number of bars which is more convenient so now this is the data that the graph is using right now. They are divided in different categories, country, region, image, and all these values from one year, 1960 to further like 2014, I guess. So as you can see, there are different uh, links for the image URLs. So if you want, you can change the, uh, if you can add any other thing, or if you want to add any other object and you want to have some specific image, then you can change. For example, I'm just going to show you one simple example. Uh, I'm just going to use the flag of my country and I want to I will replace it with some other country and I will show you the how it works it doesn't specifically has to be from this country what I do is that I use these ones so that it can save my time but if you want to make your own uh, graphs for example if you want to make some items like we are selling something online then you can use different images for those items and you can see how well they are performing over years or over time so uh, make sure that you use, uh, use .png format and then you paste here and then you can see from the graph like wherever china is the map the the flag is of pakistan and that's how i did it so you can just change image uh, easily and go on google find any other amp and images so i'm go just going to use my own data now so i already uh, made a classified different data from who and i use this data to classify different countries and the number of patients recorded over uh, from 20th Jan 21st January to the to up to 29th of March, 29th of February. So in in this during this time, I saw a lot of countries like they started coming after 18th or 17th of February, and there was a huge change in the number of patients in South Korea, which increased from almost like uh, 30 patients to almost up now to 3,000 patients. That's a huge number. So, uh, like I told before that if you want to use a graph, if you want to use an uh, image of any other country, so the easiest thing is that you just go new, you type a name and make it PNG, open the new, open it as a new image and then just copy the link and paste it over there. You can easily uh, replace the flag or here. you can easily replace any image that you want. So it all depends on you, what kind of image, no. So .spg is not the uh, right format. So I'm just going to go and make it PNG and so I'm just going to type it again. Or I was thinking related first, uh, but I just wanted to show you show you guys again how to do it. So I'm just gonna open a PNG image, and then I'm gonna use it as a image over there. So you just click on it, and make sure that you open the image in new tab, and then open image in new tab. Then you can see that now it has a PNG format. Now you can copy this link and paste it over here. And there is there is a certain value at the end of the graph, at the end of the table, because in the start there was no case in the in the New Zealand. And start so so now you can see there are different dates uh, categorized as country region flag and different dates and uh, with different number of patients recorded so as you can see the values are from starting from the column D and they're ending at the column AQ so you can replace ZZ here 
with AQ so that you can uh, see the actual number of columns that are being that are being used in your data. So the thing is that I already recorded my data here. So now what I'm gonna do is like, so the image column is in the C, which is uh, so you have to replace that one. And text one text or HTML show. Uh, I don't want to show that HTML text because it's also in the C. So I'm just gonna leave it blank. And then I'm gonna see in preview that there I can see my number and also I can see the flag inside the bar and that's what it is so now you can see uh, there's a bar the bottom is scrolling down and this is actually the timeline so it's not working right now which is weird because I need to refresh the page one more time so I'm gonna refresh it one more time and then we can see the graph is working <coughs> more easily more uh, smoothly so <coughs> as you can see uh, the Thailand had the highest number of cases in the start and then comes Singapore and then comes Japan and then comes South Korea from the bottom from 12 to 16 and 17 and 18 23 24 then there was a stagnant figure up till 31st and after the 31st patient the numbers got cut beyond the limit and they were they were not in control but so far whatever the situation is that the Korean government is really trying hard to make it best so coming back to the topic again so the number of bars you can change from 5 to 10 whatever you want like the more the bars the more the smaller will be the graph and that won't look beautiful so what I prefer is that I use 20 countries at this moment and it looks not too small for instance now and I can decrease the space here and also I can sort them based on their values highest to lowest and also now if I want to change the color if I want to change by color by a bar like every bar has a different color then I can choose my bar if I want to choose by category which is category which is the Africa regions America Oceania Asia then it will have different colors depending on category or if you want just one single color for all of them and you can choose a single and also can change the color for a single and as you can see that I changed and it didn't change too much because it was almost similar color that's why and also you can decrease and increase the opacity like how bright do you want it to be like how visible do you want it to be so one is more better but I was thinking that the opacity road opacity was also beautiful so you can also change the labels you want to show the image uh, the flag outside or you want to show the name outside so you can change the labels and axis images on the, on the bar or text on the bar you can, it's up to you and how far do you want it from the y-axis so you can change that so uh, it's better to keep it away from the axis so that you know the name is bigger you can easily see it and also if you want to show the value of the bar you can click show the value and how much space do you want it from the bar like from the end of the bar and the value so it's up to you so now comes the image size uh, which is the flag itself so if you want to fill it or you want it in rectangle shape or in circle shape you can change it depending upon what are your uh, needs or like uh, how does it look beautiful or whatever you want and then you can change the counter which is uh, this bar coming at the bottom you can change the current time which is like uh, if uh, the sooner it changes and uh, every, every timeline will keep on changing and also the size and the color you can change it uh, whatever you like so I prefer choosing the dull color so that uh, there's more emphasis on the graph itself instead of the date so <clears throat> the thing is that the more uh, less prominent this values this this date is the the more prominent will be your graph so it, uh, it depends on you how do you want to align it and then comes the captions so you can change the captions uh, you uh, I guess I didn't put a caption here so that's why I cannot see the caption right now I cannot see anything else oh uh, you can also give a control for your graphs if you are putting if you want to link in your website somewhere then the, the viewer can change the values from highest to lowest or whatever controls to allow them to do so so now the legend comes uh, in this one particular there is no legend so that's why you're gonna see anything any effect while I'm pressing the legend category so the thing is I'm just gonna use it, leave it as it is and then I'm gonna go into the timeline and this is actually for the animations I'm not using any animation in this one so just simple graph then I can just use it like this and then comes the size and font of the text that is being shown and you want to change it in a different font the most uh, good one was like cabin skies I like this one so I just use it I just saw this in the end and I was going to use it but I prefer using the source uh, sans pro which is the uh, default size and font by default so I'm just gonna use that one and then comes the presentation of the layout order for the graph or how do you want it if you want it on top of it you want the bottom of it it's all it depends on you so uh, there are a lot of things that if you want to uh, if you want to learn more about it you can just uh, 
uh, go on the website they have easy access uh, for all the uh, all the different kind of graphs and you can use it and this is a one of a hint one one hint for people who want to uh, make a video because if you want to uh, publish it you just you have to buy for it you have to buy this so what I do is I make a full screen in the Google Chrome and then make a full screen here and then I switch on my cam recorder or my screen recorder so I record it like this and then after recording it I can use it uh, wherever I want without paying anything so that's 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 one tip for you guys so if you want to use it uh, make sure you will use a Google Chrome or any other browser which has a, a full screen extension so you can use it easily so I hope you guys like the enjoy the video so if you need to learn something else you can mail it me know and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe leave your comments down below and I hope you like the video thank you see you next time